Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting for me. As a China Glaze lover and collector, we have the new My Little Pony collection from China Glaze. So I don't know about you, but I think that this is actually really fresh and fun. So even if you're not a My Little Pony fan, which I'm not necessarily a fan myself, but my daughters love to watch the show. I've had a fair introduction to the show, enough to really recognize why things are named as they are, but even if you have no idea what the show is, I think that you'll still be able to appreciate this collection because there really is something here for everybody. We have shimmers, we have mattes, we actually have a linear holographic, which as far as I know is a first for China Glaze, so that was really exciting to see. We have holographic glitters in here as well. Really a lot of fun stuff. Now I can see maybe you disliking one or two shades, but I will be surprised if you're able to look at this collection as a whole and not be able to find at least one thing that you like here. I know you guys sometimes like to bag on China Glaze in the comments, but I think that this collection is actually pretty awesome. Now, do I love every single shade? No, but some of them I really do love. So we're going to go ahead and get into live application. I purchased these polishes from headtotoebeauty.com. They were also all available at 88beauty.com. I will link those in the description bar below as I always do so that you guys can find where I purchase things. And we're also going to be looking at the limited edition duo that you can find at both of those locations as well. So let's get right into these polishes. I'm just gonna kinda go through the rainbow like we always do, but I'm gonna start out with this limited edition duo because I think it's really cute and Honor wants to play with the rings that came into the duo and I told her that she could as soon as I reviewed it. So let's go ahead and do that part first. Now here is the little duo. It's called Songbird Serenade. And as you can see, there's a dark polish. I actually have it on my nails and we'll look at that in a minute. And then it has a gold in there. And there's a second duo that they are marketing in this same way that has some nail art stickers. Those are actually polishes that are in the core 12 polishes. I found this out the hard way, so I bought duplicates of those polishes. And I'm just gonna stick those into some Swatch Fest giveaways packages. Um, but anyway, so let's look at these first two polishes. Why don't we go ahead and start with the one that's on my nails? Why don't we? Oh, I should show you really quick what is in there. Um, it says best friends and they're two little rings. Anyway, okay, so this first polish, it looks just like black on my nails, right? But it is in fact not. It is packed with pink, blue, and gold shimmer from what I can see. And it actually, um, it stands out on the nail so-so. Mostly people are gonna think that you're wearing black nail polish. Did you think I was wearing black nail polish? Unless they look very, very close. I actually really did like this polish though. I'm a fan of wearing darker polish, even though it's the summer, it doesn't bother me. I really liked it. Um, this gets pretty great coverage. This is called Songbird Serenade, by the way, just like the name of the duo. And this gets pretty great coverage at one coat, but I did two coats to bring it to full opacity. I was actually surprised for a black polish that they could get that shimmer to stand out pretty strong even with as good a coverage as you were getting in the cream. That's actually pretty impressive. So I'm showing you two coats in live application here. Most everything that you're gonna see today, the pictures are gonna have top coat on them, even though the glossy polishes are pretty glossy. Just as a rule, I usually put top coat on things unless it's clearly matte, like on purpose matte, and then I will leave it so that you can see its original texture. But this polish was okay glossy, it wasn't necessarily flat or anything, but I definitely glossed it up for you there in the photo. So this is the first polish here in the collection, Songbird Serenade, and just keep in mind that this comes in this special pack, it's not, you're not going to find it just along with the rest of the collection. So yeah, I like this one. The next polish in the collection, I wasn't as much of a fan of, this is an antique gold and it is a chrome type of metallic where um, basically you don't really see any particles. It just looks like flat, like a flat piece of sheet metal or whatever. Um, this kind of metallic, you can really see the brush strokes in your application. You can avoid that by like sponging it on or anything. But if you don't want to mess with that, there will be some brush strokes. This is called Best Ponies Forever. It's so cute. The reason why I wasn't like crazy over this one is because I can think of a few polishes that look just like this already in my collection. And just for me, I would I would choose a different kind of metallic. That's my own personal feeling about it. But the color is nice. It also gives great coverage in just one coat. I am gonna show you two just for two coat purposes sake, 
because I know a lot of people do like to wear two coats no matter what. So two coats in the live application, two coats in the photo. Um, for me, it was actually kind of a bummer that this is in the duo with the other ones. You have to buy both of them. But um, at headtotoebeauty.com, they were it was only six twenty five for the duo, so it's only three twenty five a polish. So you know. Anyway, so this is Best Ponies Forever. Okay, let's get into some pinks. By the way, I didn't even mention the packaging on this is really cute. I'm a total fan of how this is not an overlay, so it's not gonna just lift right up sometime. Um, it's printed right on there, and it says, honesty, kindness, magic, generosity, loyalty, and laughter. Which, I mean, say what you will about my little ponies those are all really great things for you know our kids to strive to have or ourselves to strive you know to have as part of our character so anyway I do enjoy that a lot so this first one we're gonna look at has scattered holographic in it which I am really excited in the direction that China Glaze is moving as far as mainstream brands are concerned it's one of the reasons why I enjoy China Glaze so much is I feel like they do try to they try to do new things they try to not just stay like one note like some brands that we all can think of some mainstream brands that's just not their gig like those other brands that's their gig is to say kind of one note i think that china glaze really likes to give you a bunch of different things in their collections and um so speaking of which this is a micro glitter so it's going to be textured but it is in this beautiful berry um jelly base and believe it or not, this gets great coverage at two coats. I didn't need to do more than two coats. On the first coat, it looks kind of sheer, but on the second coat, it builds up just fine. If you let this dry by itself, you're really not gonna get like the best um, look out of your scattered holographic, in my opinion. So I did put a nice glossy top coat on this, and I feel like I at least like it best that way. So I thought it just was stunning. I really enjoyed this polish. What is wrong with me today? I'm not telling you guys these names till the end here. I'm going to get better at that. Where's the Party Cannon at? So that's the name of this polish, and I really enjoyed it. Okay, the next pink in the collection is this awesome bright hot pink with some shimmer. I was really excited to see this in here and the color of it's just fantastic. By the way, this is one of the two polishes that's in that other duo that they're promoting, you know, together in a box, but it's in the core line, so you don't need to purchase that other one if you've already bought all these polishes. So this polish is called She's a Maniac and they've split up the word maniac. And this is gorgeous. It is the matte polish in the collection. Um, it does have shimmer, and I think that's the reason why they made this so sheer. For me, I could even still see some visible nail line after the third coat, but I didn't really want to go for four coats. It just doesn't really, it's not really realistic for my life to do four coats on things, so I stopped with three. You guys can see how this looks both matte and with top coat. I took a picture both ways. I love the color of this. I love that it has shimmer. It's really bright and fun and party. And I can think of a few of the, the ponies that this could go really well for. It's really, really fun. I just wish it had a little bit more opacity at three coats. Okay, next up we have the third pink. And this is kind of a, a pastel, dusty. It's like a, it's a pastel pink. It's a little bit dusty. It's a little bit peachy. So, okay. This is called Sweet as Pinkie Pie, which is really cute. I actually, when I think of Pinkie Pie, I think of more like that bright, bright pink that we just looked at because she's just like all over the place, right? Anyway, so this is a, a light pink, the likes of which you've probably seen a million times over again. And for that reason, this, this one wasn't my favorite. It also, you could stop at two coats if you wanted to, but you can still see a little bit of streakiness. So I went for that third coat, even though when I was putting on that third coat, I thought, my nail is looking like it's a little bit overwhelmed by this polish, which is not my favorite look. Um, so yeah, if I was going to wear this again, I would do three very thin coats and hope that I get some good enough coverage for it. So that's what I'm showing you here. Live application is three coats, and then the photo is three coats with top coat. So it is a pretty shade, but because it's not really anything new and the, you know, needing three coats, it just... You know, I have other pinks that I prefer the formula to this one. Next up we have a red, and this one is called Applejack of My Eye. So if you don't know, there's a character called Applejack, just as there is a character called Pinkie Pie. I didn't talk, I didn't say that in the last polish, but maybe you guys already know that. Anyway, in case you don't, there's a really cute character called Applejack, and she's awesome, and this color is pretty great too. Granted, China Glaze has a ton of reds, and yes, we will be looking at dupes for this. 
Um, and yeah, on my Snapchat, I called this like a deeper watermelon. I kind of feel like that's what it is. It does look red, but there's a little pinch of pink in there. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be an exactly apple color. It's really cute. So I think it was great at two coats. It has that kind of formula that China Glaze is doing lately that's not really a straight up cream. It's going towards a Crelly. It's funny because we have a cream and a Crelly, and a Crelly means it's in between a cream and a jelly. A jelly polish is when there's a lot more base than there is pigment so that you have this translucency almost to your polish like you have with that holographic polish we had at first. It's important to have that translucency when you have something like a scattered holographic glitter. Because if you don't, then the cream polish just covers over it and it looks like a textured polish. Does that make sense? So, you guys already know all of this, but just in case there's any of you who don't. So basically, when they do a polish that's just a cream finish, there's no shimmer in it or anything, and they turn it into a curly polish, for me, it doesn't make a lot of sense because what happens is now you have this kind of, it's not a goopier formula, it's just... Hmm, it just doesn't lay down the same way and it ends up looking a little bit thick on the nail. So that's why for me, this kind of, this formula that they're going in towards, it's not their typical, like their old school cream formula. Think the Giver collection. My favorite China Glaze collection I think they ever did because it's all full of creams and they are perfect cream formulas. I'm getting off on a little bit of a tangent here. But anyway, I think this is beautiful. Um, I'm showing you two coats plus top coat. As far as whether I think you need it, the answer is no. If you are a fan of collecting China Glaze, you probably want this whole collection anyway, but we will look at dupes for this in a little bit. Okay, this next polish is in the same boat as the red and the pink that we just looked at. It has this kind of weird, almost Crelly-like formula to where you need a lot of coats, but because the formula is in that direction, it's not just a thin cream, it's actually going towards a Crelly, so it's like a little bit thicker. It feels almost like a gel. That's why it makes sense that they're calling it jelly. It almost like it got, gives you a look of like a gel, which is really plump and juicy. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is it just, it almost looks like it's overwhelming the nail. It's just really not my favorite when it comes to cream formulas. So this is called Kill em With Kindness and it needs three coats. Really not an enjoyable formula for me. The color is really beautiful this almost light sunny buttercup um, but yeah I didn't really like the formula okay next up we have another polish in that same boat this is just a cream and it has the same kind of formula this one gets a little bit more opacity in two coats to where I did stop at two coats with this one this is a beautifully bright spring green um, yeah it's really pretty it's called cute oh yeah it's called cutie mark the spot I said cute mark yeah cutie mark like in the show um, and it's beautiful. I think you probably have a polish like this, but, um, you know, it is really nice and bright and pretty and cute. Um, the formula, not exactly my favorite for, you know, the same reason that we just discussed. But anyway, I'm showing you two coats in my live application, two coats with a top coat, and I think that this is really, really beautiful. So if you can put up with the formula, I think this is really pretty. Alright guys, so this next polish is a turquoise and I think this is really pretty. It's called One Polished Pony and this is the other polish that if you put together with She's a Maniac makes the other duo that they're promoting for this collection. So this one's really pretty and it does have shimmer in it which does make a little bit more sense if you're going to do that curly formula. If you have shimmer because you need it a little bit more sheer so you can see the shimmer out. What's funny about this is this actually has better opacity and I was able to leave it at two coats easier than some of those other polishes without the shimmer. Isn't it weird? Kind of worked out like that. Anyway, I really like this one. You guys know this kind of color is such a favorite of mine. And with the shimmer in it, I think it's so pretty. So I did enjoy this. I'm showing you just two coats with top coat. And I really, I mean, I love this whole collection. I would say this is probably one of my favorites though. Okay, next up, this polish is really bright. It's beautiful, look at this color. It's a, it's in between a blue and a teal. It's like a blue trying to go to a teal. On my nails when I was wearing it, it looks more blue than teal. So basically, it's blue with a pinch of green, but it's a really bright one. I love it, it's so pretty. It's called Too Busy Being Awesome. I'm gonna show you two coats of this one. It is beautifully glossy all on its own. It's a stunner. The 
only problem is, and you're going to have guessed it already, it did have the propensity to try to stain me. These kind of colors are usually stainers because the pigments are just, that's kind of inherent in them. Now granted, not every polish that has this kind of shade in it is going to stain you. Just some of the different products that brands use when they color something this kind of shade does end up staining you. So when I went to go remove it, I was really careful to pull it straight off my finger and even still my already yellow nails yellowed up a little bit more. I was pulling it straight off so that it wouldn't hit any of my finger around my nail and discolor that as well. In any case, I really don't like polishes that stain. I don't know though, with this one, it wasn't like the worst stainer I ever saw and the color is so pretty, I might wear it again, but you know, that's just goes to show you guys how much I really, really hate staining. So I don't know. I don't know if I would wear this again, it, but I know some of you don't mind if something stains at all, but if you want to take my word for it and you just want to stay away from stainers, this one is one that's probably going to do it to you. If you have found in the past that you stain similarly to the way that I stain. Because I know that we don't all stain from the same things. But anyway, I always like to give you guys a warning because it always frustrates me when something does stain me. Alright, so next up we have this beautiful purple jelly with holographic. And yes, this is a sister to that first scattered holographic we looked at. They're basically identical, but the base is a different color. So. Beautiful, I love them both. One is berry, one is this beautiful grape shade. They have tons of holographic in there. It's just it's just absolutely chock full. This one's called I Just Canter Lot. Cute. And it's beautiful. I really loved it. Again, I went in for the first coat and thought, well, this looks kind of sheer. But on the second coat, it really built up nicely. I didn't feel the need to add any more. Actually, it really packs a nail full of glitter on that second coat. And I do really enjoy the formula of these micro glitters. I really, really am liking it a lot because the base gives the glitters a nice place to nestle in. And yeah, I think it was stunning. Like I said with the other one, if you don't put top coat on, you're gonna feel like it looks a little dull, in my opinion. So I went ahead and add a nice amount of generous, juicy top coat, and I just, I love this one. I love it. All right, so we have the holographic left and two shimmer toppers. So let's start with the holographic. It's just a plain silver holographic. There's nothing really too awesome going on about this polish, and the holographic isn't as strong as any brands, for example. I know you guys don't love it when I compare mainstream to indie, but you know, as a person who sees a lot of indie linear holographics, that's what I think of. When I look at this, I just automatically compare. I can't really help it. Um, however, I do really appreciate that they put this in here. I really appreciate that they're trying to make holographic polishes. So don't get me wrong, I love that it's in here and I did a little squeal and a dance when I saw that this collection had a linear holographic. Before I opened the package, I had no idea. So um, yeah, I love that it's in here. This is called I See Ponies. So you're looking at two coats with top coat and I took a picture of it just without flash or anything and I was taking a picture of this at nighttime before I was leaving on vacation so I didn't have a chance to photograph this in the sun but then I photographed it with flash so that should bring out a little bit of the holographic for you so you can get an idea. But anyway, um, yeah, I thought this was nice. For me, after putting it on, I wasn't like overwhelmed with it like I said but I was explaining I do have some direct comparisons that kind of probably pushes my opinion of this it may be a different direction than yours if you've never tried linear holographic for example so anyway this is I see ponies okay so we're on to the two shimmers we have one that is obvious what the color is that it's going to you know go towards and one that looks a lot more clear this first one um, goes a lot like the greeny gold route and then this one is of course a blue purple pink kind of iridescence there so let's go over this one first I am going to show you them over a polish in the collection that I feel like I feel like whenever China Glaze does one of these toppers it almost seems to me like it's meant to go with one of the polishes already in the collection you know what I mean like there is a cream color in the collection that seems similar to shade to these topper shades so I put this over the light green in the collection and I thought it was stunning. However, if you really wanna see how a polish like this shifts, your best way is to put it over something either very dark or just straight up black. So you're gonna see it over black for me and you're also gonna see it over um, the green in the collection. This is called Hey Girl Hey, but the hey is H-A-Y, which is really cute. This is really bright and beautiful. Like I said, it goes to green, but I also see a little bit of blue and gold shining in there. 
So I love trying to glaze toppers when they do these, but you guys know I like shimmer toppers. If it's not your thing, you could probably just skip these two because if you try to build them up, they're on their own. You're not going to enjoy that look. I don't think you will, in my opinion. Um, but if you put them over something for the color to bounce off of. So that's what I'm showing you over black as well. So yeah, I really enjoy these. So these get a thumbs up for me. The second shimmer and the last polish in the collection is this blue purple one and this is called Let Your Twilight Sparkle and that again has another trademark in the name because Twilight Sparkle is one of the ponies in My Little Pony and like I said this is a purple blue kind of iridescent shifty shimmer going on in there and I put this over the blue in the collection and I thought it was beautiful but this is really gorgeous over black you guys I love this so much. I will of course be showing you guys comparisons for these polishes as well because they did come out with some kind of similar things in the past few years so um, but yeah I don't think I have anything that's exactly like these but we will look at some of the other shimmer toppers that China Glaze has put out so um, yeah I did this one coat over the blue and one coat over the black which way do you like it best? Alright you guys, so that's the end of the live application. If you are not interested in seeing how these polishes compare to other polishes from China Glaze line or other things that I might decide are so similar that they really need to jump in here, then that would be the end of the video for you. Thank you for stopping in and spending some time with me and I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I hope I see you back for the next review. If you do want to go ahead and continue hanging out for the dupes, we're going to go ahead and get into that right now. Okay, so let's start off this comparisons and dupes portion with She's a Maniac. That's the second from the bottom. Man, it's just so gorgeous. I love this polish so pretty so this is the matte one and I think the thing that I have for you that's closest is I'll pink to that it is pretty close it's not quite as bright um, but that's the closest thing from China Glaze I had but I had enough things from China Glaze that I didn't include things from other brands so here I have rich and famous and kiss my sherbet lips that are also pretty close as you can see they're darker and not as like luminescent um, but yeah some similar things here for you for that one next up the second pink we have sweet as Pinkie Pie and that's the one that was kind of peachy pink and I think actually the closest thing I have for you is Essie Groove is in the heart as you can see it's a little bit more pink but the other closest thing I have is trying to glaze feel the breeze and that's a little bit more peach so it's kind of like a really good marriage right between those two shades and then I also wanted to show you pink or swim right next to it because it was kind of in the same realm and they look similar in the bottle so here we have the red and I have a lot of things for you. Now I was really excited to see that it was so, so, so similar to Zoya Sonia because if you guys remember, during that video for the Zoya collection, the Wanderlust collection, I was telling you how Sonia was like my favorite red ever. Well, Applejack of my eye is so similar. So here are a bunch of other things that it's kind of similar to. The things on the bottom are a little bit more orangey, but that's everything that I wanted to show it to you. A lot of really similar things. Okay, so the yellow, I have a lot of things to show you as well, all from China Glaze. I thought it would be nice to just kind of see all of these light China Glaze yellows together. So, Kill em With Kindness is in the middle. Um, I mean, it's pretty close to Casual Friday. Lemon Fizz is just a little bit darker. Girls Just Want to Have um, Sun is like a little bit more blasted out, so it has less pigment in it. And Whip It Good is too green, but they're all really close, aren't they? All right, so next up we have Cutie Mark the Spot, and I have two other China Glaze things to share with you. And I looked across my other mainstream brands, and I couldn't find another thing, even in Civil Colors, that was as green and as bright as Cutie Mark the Spot. So I really, really like this polish, basically. It's very close to highlight of my summer, which is a favorite of mine. But as you can see, it's a little bit lighter, more wide in it, but it's like equally as bright. And then Spring Jungle, um, most recently released from China Glaze, as you can see, that one's a lot less bright. Um, it's just a little bit more muted. Okay, so next up we have the beautiful Turquoise with Shimmer, One Polished Pony. And I wanted to show you in comparison to Four Audrey because it's a kind of a similar Tiffany Blue shade, but Four Audrey is a little bit darker, more green. Essie in the Cabana is also darker with more blue. And the most similar thing that I had to it is Moonshine Manny Sundown Serenade, which is a turquoise base with some 
ultra chrome flakies in there that flash between green to gold to pink so that although they don't look similar because it has the added flakies they are the same base color if that helps you out okay too busy being awesome is up next that's a beautiful beautiful kind of royal to cobalt blue as he makes some noise is incredibly close look at how close those are um it's just maybe a tiny bit darker so some other things from china glaze that i wanted to show you we have hanging in the balance a little bit darker as you can see and then i truly azure you was actually very close but as you remember that was a luster finish so that's why it's giving off that extra shine Next up, I wanted to show you these three polishes that I don't have anything similar enough to compare. Um, Songburn Serenade at the bottom, I mean, there are other blacks with shimmer, but I couldn't find anything close enough to really, you know, warrant a comparison because you're not going to be like, oh yeah, I have that polish, I don't need Songbird Serenade because they're not close enough. Same thing with I Just Canter Lot and Where's the Party Cannon at? They're just so unique, they don't really have anything to compare them to, but I did want to still show them to you here on the swatch stick. Next up we have Best Ponies Forever, and that's the other polish in the duo with Songbird Serenade. So China Glaze High Standards is another very similar, like, antique gold um, from China Glaze. And yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit more of like a chrome finish than Best Ponies Forever, but still, they're like, they're incredibly close. So if you aren't crazy about golds, and you already have high standards, you're probably set. But in any case, there are those side by side. Okay, next we have the holographic, and as you can see, I mean, there's a little bit of holographic coming off of it on the top. My um, flash lighting is not the best for showing off this, um, the holographic in this polish. However, usually if you take a photo of a holographic with flash, you can see it well enough, and it just wasn't showing up for me. I'm not sure why, but and anyway, I just wanted to show it next uh, for you next to any other like silver linear holographic. So I have Cloris to Carol Silver Cloud Martini here just to show you that it's just like a straight up silver linear holographic. doesn't have any um, hints of colors in it like the Color Club holographics have in it, for example. So also remember this one was a one coater pretty much. So yeah, there's the comparison there for you. Alright guys, so last up we have the shimmers and I wanted to give you direct comparisons to a few of the shimmer toppers that China Glaze has come out with recently. So on the top we have um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Starfish compared to Hey Girl Hey and they're very similar in the shimmer base but Hey Girl Hey has some micro white glitter in it so they're going to look different on the nail. And then we have Let Your Twilight Sparkle on the bottom, which as you can see is predominantly blue. But the iridescent shiftiness does go to purple, so I wanted to show it to you next to Don't Mesh With Me from the fall collection. But as you can see, that color is a lot more purple. Alright you guys, so I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for coming to spend some time with me today. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. You guys always do. I'm always interested to see what you think of these. I know a lot of you already have your hands on them and you've been loving some, disliking some others. You've been letting me know on Snapchat and I love that. I love to hear what you guys think. Let me know. And I hope that if you've been disappointed by China Glaze in the past few collections that you are finding something to enjoy in this one because I feel like the energy and the spirit of this collection is just so fun. I'm hoping that it helps you just get a little bit of the fun back in your polish if you're just feeling a little bit mm, like I know that some of you are because I can see you in the comment section. So anyway, um, yeah, I hope that you had a little bit of fun hanging out with me. I hope that it was helpful. Um, I think that's about it. Have you guys seen the new fall collection coming out? It looks beautiful. It looks very fall. So that's going to conclude this video. I will see you guys back for the next one. Take care. Bye.